Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're exploring the legendary hero Hercules, known for his incredible strength and courage in Greek mythology. Hercules, or Heracles, was the son of Zeus and a mortal woman, Alcmene. His most famous exploits include the Twelve Labors, a series of daunting tasks assigned by King Eurystheus. These labors tested his prowess, from slaying monsters to capturing beasts and retrieving valuable items. Despite his flaws and vulnerabilities, Hercules remains an iconic symbol of strength, courage, and the triumph of the human spirit in mythological tales. Why Hercules and the Twelve Labors? Hercules' journey through the Twelve Labors exemplifies not only his exceptional physical abilities but also his resilience and determination in overcoming seemingly insurmountable challenges. These tasks, imposed upon him as punishment for a crime committed in a fit of madness, underscore Hercules' transformation from a flawed hero to a figure of enduring mythological stature. His adventures resonate across cultures, serving as timeless reminders of the power of perseverance and heroism in the face of adversity. You want to know more about the first labor of Hercules, slay the Nemean lion. Here's a more detailed account. Hercules was tasked by King Eurystheus to kill the Nemean lion, a ferocious beast terrorizing the city of Nemea. The lion was said to be invulnerable to weapons, and its skin was impervious to arrows and spears. Hercules traveled to Nemea, searched for the lion, and found it in a cave. He attempted to shoot it with arrows, but they bounced off its skin. He then tried to spear it, but the spear broke. Realizing the lion's vulnerability was its neck, Hercules strangled it with his bare hands, using his incredible strength. After killing the lion, Hercules tried to skin it but found that its skin was too tough. He then used the lion's own claws to skin it and wore its pelt as a cloak, which became one of his signature symbols. This labor showcased Hercules' strength, cunning, and determination, setting the tone for the rest of his legendary adventures. Would you like to hear more about the next labor? You want to know more about the second labor of Hercules, slay the Lernaean Hydra. Here's a more detailed account. Hercules was tasked by King Eurystheus to kill the Lernaean Hydra, a serpent-like monster with multiple heads, one of which was immortal. The Hydra was said to be able to regenerate its heads if any were cut off. Hercules traveled to the swamp of Lerna, where the Hydra lived, and attacked it with his club. However, for every head he managed to cut off, two more grew back in its place. He also had to contend with the Hydra's venomous breath and its ability to wrap its bodies around him. Hercules' charioteer, Aeolus, helped him by cauterizing the wounds with torches, preventing new heads from growing. Hercules then beheaded the immortal head, buried it under a heavy rock, and burned the rest of the bodies. However, the labor was not yet complete. Hercules was also tasked with slaying the Hydra's guardian, the giant crab, Carquinos. He crushed the crab under his feet. This labor showcased Hercules' strength, strategy, and perseverance, as well as his ability to work with others to achieve a goal. Would you like to hear more about the next labor? You want to know more about the third labor of Hercules, capture the Serenian Hind. Here's a more detailed account. Hercules was tasked by King Eurystheus to capture the Serenian Hind, a golden deer sacred to the goddess Artemis. The deer was said to be incredibly fast and elusive. Hercules traveled to the forest of Serenia, where the deer lived, and chased it on foot, wearing bronze sandals to protect his feet from the rough terrain. He pursued the deer for a year, finally wearing it down and capturing it alive. However, while Hercules was carrying the deer back to Eurystheus, he was confronted by Artemis and her brother Apollo. Hercules explained that he was only fulfilling a task set by Eurystheus and promised to release the deer back into the wild after completing his labor. Artemis accepted his explanation, and Hercules returned the deer to Eurystheus, who was impressed by his success. Hercules then released the deer back into the forest, where it remained a symbol of his remarkable achievement. This labor showcased Hercules' endurance, determination, and respect for the gods and their sacred animals. Would you like to hear more about the next labor? You want to know more about the fourth labor of Hercules, capture the Arimanthian boar. Here's a more detailed account. Hercules was tasked by King Eurystheus to capture the Arimanthian boar, a massive and ferocious wild boar that was terrorizing the countryside. The boar was said to be as big as a chariot and had tusks as sharp as swords. 
Hercules traveled to the mountain of Arimanthus, where the boar lived, and tracked it through the snow. He used a net and a club to subdue the boar, but it was so powerful that it broke free from the net and charged at Hercules. Hercules was able to dodge the boar's attacks and eventually wear it down, using his strength to hold it in place until it became exhausted. He then bound the boar with ropes and brought it back to Eurystheus, who was impressed by Hercules' bravery and strength. However, on his way back, Hercules encountered the centaur Pholus, who was a friend of his. Pholus was curious about the boar and accidentally pricked himself with one of its tusks, which led to his death. Hercules was deeply saddened by this accident and buried Pholus with honors. This labor showcased Hercules' strength, courage, and compassion, as well as his ability to control and subdue even the most ferocious creatures. Would you like to hear more about the next labor? You want to know more about the fifth labor of Hercules, clean the Augean stables. Here's a more detailed account. Hercules was tasked by King Eurystheus to clean the Augean stables, which were filled with years worth of filth and dung from thousands of cattle. The stables were so polluted that the nearby river Alpheus had become clogged and foul-smelling. Hercules approached the task with ingenuity. He diverted the river Alpheus to flow through the stables, washing away the filth and dung. He then used his strength to remove the debris and clean the stables, completing the task in a single day. However, King Eurystheus refused to accept the labor as completed, arguing that Hercules had not done it with his own hands. Hercules protested, but Eurystheus insisted that the labor did not count. This labor showcased Hercules' resourcefulness, strength, and determination, as well as his frustration with Eurystheus' constant attempts to make his tasks more difficult. Would you like to hear more about the next labor? You want to know more about the sixth labor of Hercules, slay the Stymphalian birds. Here's a more detailed account. Hercules was tasked by King Eurystheus to kill the Stymphalian birds, a flock of vicious and sharp-beaked birds with feathers as sharp as arrows. The birds were said to be so loud that their screams could curdle milk and shatter rocks. Hercules traveled to the forest of Stymphalus, where the birds lived, and used a crotala, a pair of clappers to scare them out of their nests. He then shot them down with poisoned arrows, using his incredible strength to pierce their tough feathers. However, the birds were so numerous that Hercules had to use a clever trick to finish them off. He used a drum to create a loud noise, scaring the remaining birds into a frenzy, and then shot them down with ease. This labor showcased Hercules' cunning, strength, and resourcefulness, as well as his ability to adapt to challenging situations. Would you like to hear more about the next labor? You want to know more about the seventh labor of Hercules, capture the Cretan bull. Here's a more detailed account. Hercules was tasked by King Eurystheus to capture the Cretan bull, a massive and ferocious bull that was said to be the father of the Minotaur. The bull was terrorizing the island of Crete and was so powerful that it could knock down trees and destroy buildings. Hercules traveled to Crete and found the bull in a dense forest. He wrestled the bull to the ground, using his incredible strength to hold it in place. He then bound the bull with ropes and brought it back to Eurystheus, who was impressed by Hercules' bravery and strength. However, the bull broke free and roamed the countryside, eventually becoming the legendary Bull of Marathon, which was later killed by the hero Theseus. This labor showcased Hercules' strength, courage, and determination, as well as his ability to control and subdue even the most ferocious creatures. Would you like to hear more about the next labor? You want to know more about the eighth labor of Hercules, capture the mares of Diomedes. Here's a more detailed account. Hercules was tasked by King Eurystheus to capture the four mares of Diomedes, a giant who fed his guests to his horses. The mares were said to be ferocious and uncontrollable, and Diomedes was notorious for his cruelty. Hercules traveled to the land of the Bistones, where Diomedes ruled, and found the mares. He fed Diomedes to his own horses, then tamed the mares and brought them back to Eurystheus. However, the mares were so fierce that they eventually broke free and ran wild, and some accounts say they were eventually killed by Hercules himself to prevent them from causing harm to others. This labor showcased Hercules' bravery, strength, and cunning, as well as his ability to outsmart and overpower even the most ferocious opponents. Would you like to hear more about the next labor? 
You want to know more about the ninth labor of Hercules, obtain the girdle of Hippolyta. Here's a more detailed account. Hercules was tasked by King Eurystheus to retrieve the golden girdle of Hippolyta, the queen of the Amazons. The girdle was said to have been given to her by the god of war, Ares, and was a symbol of her power and beauty. Hercules traveled to the land of the Amazons, where he was met with resistance from the warrior women. He disguised himself as a woman and entered the city, where he was taken to Hippolyta's chambers. Hippolyta was charmed by Hercules' bravery and agreed to give him the girdle, but Hera, who was jealous of Hercules' success, disguised herself as an Amazon and spread a rumor that Hercules was planning to abduct Hippolyta. The Amazons attacked Hercules, and in the ensuing battle, Hippolyta was killed. Hercules took the girdle and returned it to Eurystheus, completing his labor. This labor showcased Hercules' cunning, bravery, and determination, as well as his ability to navigate complex situations and overcome adversity. Would you like to hear more about the next labor? You want to know more about the tenth labor of Hercules, obtain the cattle of Geryon. Here's a more detailed account. Hercules was tasked by King Eurystheus to retrieve the magnificent cattle of Geryon, a giant who lived on the island of Erythia. The cattle were said to be beautiful and of great value. Hercules traveled to the island, crossing the Strait of Gibraltar and navigating through the treacherous waters. He encountered various challenges along the way, including the giant Eurytion and his dog, Orthrus. Hercules defeated Eurytion and Orthrus, then made his way to Geryon's palace. He found the cattle and drove them back to the mainland, crossing the river Abyss and facing many dangers along the way. Finally, he returned the cattle to Eurystheus, who was impressed by Hercules' bravery and strength. This labor showcased Hercules' determination, strength, and perseverance, as well as his ability to overcome even the most daunting challenges. Would you like to hear more about the next labor? You want to know more about the eleventh labor of Hercules, steal the apples of the Hesperides. Here's a more detailed account. Hercules was tasked by King Eurystheus to steal the golden apples from the Garden of the Hesperides, a group of nymphs who were daughters of the Titan Atlas. The apples were said to have been given to the Hesperides by the goddess Gaia and were believed to have the power to grant immortality. Hercules traveled to the Garden, which was located in the far west of the world, beyond the pillars of Hercules the modern-day Strait of Gibraltar. He encountered various challenges along the way, including the giant Antaeus and the nymphs themselves. Hercules enlisted the help of the nymph's father, Atlas, who was forced to hold up the sky for eternity. Hercules offered to take Atlas' place while he retrieved the apples. Atlas agreed, and Hercules held up the sky while Atlas retrieved the apples. However, Atlas decided to try to escape his fate by attempting to deliver the apples to Eurystheus himself. Hercules was forced to trick Atlas into taking back the sky, and he returned the apples to Eurystheus, completing his labor. This labor showcased Hercules' cunning, strength, and determination, as well as his ability to outwit even the most powerful opponents. Would you like to hear more about the next labor? You want to know more about the twelfth and final labor of Hercules, capture and bring back Cerberus the three-headed dog. Here's a more detailed account. Hercules was tasked by King Eurystheus to capture Cerberus, the three-headed dog that guarded the gates of the underworld. This was considered the most difficult and dangerous labor of all, as Cerberus was a fearsome creature with the power to prevent the living from entering the underworld. Hercules traveled to the underworld, where he was met by the god Hades and his queen, Persephone. They agreed to let him take Cerberus on one condition, he had to subdue the dog without using any weapons. Hercules was able to overpower Cerberus using his incredible strength and brought him back to the world of the living. However, as he was returning to Eurystheus, Cerberus managed to escape and return to the underworld. Despite this, Hercules' labor was considered complete, and he was finally freed from his servitude to Eurystheus. This labor showcased Hercules' bravery, strength, and determination, as well as his ability to overcome even the most daunting challenges. And that's the story of the 12 labors of Hercules. I hope you enjoyed the journey through Hercules' incredible feats. If you have any questions or want to share your thoughts, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the bell icon for more mythological adventures. Your support means a lot.
Thank you.